All right, we're doing the Han Jue Yin pericardium channel, starting with pericardium one. Pericardium one is on the chest, level with the fourth intercostal space, one soon lateral to the nipple, or five soon lateral to the midline. So I think we can just put a picture of that up. Pericardium one is in the fourth intercostal space, one soon lateral to the nipple, or five soon lateral to the midline. So just to review all our points that are level with the fourth intercostal space, on the midline we have Ren 17, Two soon lateral to the midline is kidney 23. Stomach 17 is four soon lateral to the midline or on the nipple. Pericardium one is one soon lateral to the nipple or five soon lateral to the midline. And spleen 18 is in the fourth intercostal space, six soon lateral to the midline or two soon lateral to the nipple. And then just remember that the ribs kind of curve up. So sometimes these aren't all in a straight line. They kind of curve up with the shape of the ribs. After that, we're on the arm. Pericardium 2 is too soon below the axillary fold between the two heads of the bicep brachii muscle. So we have axillary fold to transverse cubital crease is 9 soon. We can divide it into thirds to get 3 soon. And then we want 2 soon for pericardium 2. Pericardium 3 is at the transverse cubital crease on the ulnar side of the biceps brachii tendon. So we find a tendon on the radial side is lung 5. On the ulnar side is pericardium 3. And so we have pericardium 3 on the ulnar side, and then we just come straight up for pericardium 2. Then some things we want to be careful about. Just remember that the lung channel is on the radial side and the pericardium channel is on the ulnar side. And then don't get confused about your soon measurements. Lung 3 is 3 soon down, pericardium 2 is 2 soon down, heart 2 is 3 soon up. After that, we're on the forearm, and we're going to start with pericardium 7. Pericardium 7 is on the transverse wrist crease between the two tendons. So we find our two tendons and go right between the two. So we're between the two tendons, and then we're on the wrist crease. If you have trouble finding the wrist crease, you can come over here and find heart 7 on the proximal border of the pisiform bone, and then pericardium 7 is going to be in line with that. So this gives us our line from pericardium 3 to pericardium 7, but really we're just going to be between these two tendons the whole way. So pericardium 4 is 5 soon proximal to the wrist crease. So here's 12 soon. Half of 12 is 6, here's 6 soon, half of 6 is 3, so we have 3, 4, 5, 6, we want 5 soon for pericardium 4 between the two tendons. And pericardium 5 is 3 soon proximal to the wrist crease, so here's 12 soon, half of 12 is 6, half again is 3, and so that gives us 3 soon for pericardium 5. Pericardium 6 is 2 soon proximal to the wrist crease. So here's 12 soon, half of 12 is 6, half is 3. So here's 1, 2, 3. We want 2 soon for pericardium 6. So then we can see the spacing here. I usually remember it by 2, 1, 2, or some people remember it by the distance from the wrist crease. So 2, 3, 5. I don't know if that made sense, but that's how I remember it. After that, we're on the palm of the hand. Pericardium 8 is actually really similar to heart 8. It's just with pericardium 8, we're between the second and third metacarpals. And this one is where the middle finger lands when a loose fist is made. So again, you can do the loose fist thing, or I just palpate for the heads of the metacarpals, come between the second and third, and then just palpate a little bit proximal to that. You'll fall into a nice depression for pericardium 8. Pericardium 9 is just on the tip of the middle finger. So most modern sources will locate it here. We also have a second option that we can locate pericardium 9 just like a regular Jing Well point. Point 0.1 soon from the corner of the nail on the radial side. But most modern textbooks will just put it on 
the tip of the middle finger. So that's the Han Jue Yin pericardium channel. 